Hey happy bees, it's Amanda and this week we're going to make a cute little P.T. Barnum from The Greatest Showman. If you need a little bit of extra help making this cake topper you could use the templates from my Pirates tutorial. I'll put a link in the description below as well as a wee card up above if you want to check that out. So to get started on P.T. Barnum we're going to make his legs first and I'm using some black modelling paste here. You're going to roll it into a thin sausage shape. Then you're going to use your pinky finger to create a little indentation in the centre. Using a square cutter to create an indentation just above where I've created the other indentation. <laughs> How many times am I going to say indentation in this video? Let's count that and put it in the comments, shall we? <laughs> so now you've created two legs, you're going to put a cocktail stick in one and a bamboo skewer in the other. And to create the soles of the feet, we're going to take a ball of our black modelling paste. You're going to cut that in half. Then you're going to flatten out those two pieces and place them on the bottom of the leg. Once you've that done, it's time to place the legs onto your dummy or your cake. I'm going to use some white modelling paste now to create the torso. And I'm going to shape it where it's slightly narrow at the top and wider at the bottom. Push that on top of the legs that you've created. And now we're going to use a flesh piece of modelling paste to create a neck. So you're going to roll that into a cylinder shape. And if it's too long you can trim it before you place it on top of the Roll out some of your black modelling paste as thin as you possibly can. And we're going to use that square cutter again to create a V shape in the top. Use your knife to create a line down the centre. And then this is going to be placed on the front of his torso. And I should say you can find links in the description below for everything that I'm using to create this cake topper. I'm going to go in with some gold edible paint now and we're going to paint some swirly, squirly, <laughs> swirly squirrels. I, I, they're kind of like S shapes on the front of his waistcoat. I'm not doing very well here today at all, am I? <laughs> now we're going to create a jacket and we're going to create it kind of looking like a cape. So I've used a circle cutter to create a semi-circle in the bottom of my red modelling paste. And then we're going to create two lines. So you're going to just measure this to size and then place it onto the back of your topper. And I'm kind of shaping it where it's going out at one side so it looks like it's swishing around. So now you're going to roll two snake shapes of the red modeling paste for arms. And you're going to create a little indentation in the center there. Trim those at the bottom and place those onto your topper. So to create frills for his white shirt, you're going to roll three pieces of your white modelling paste into teardrop shapes. Place those on front of the neck and then you can use a knife to create a little line in the centre. I'm going to create a collar now. So as you can see, I've rolled out a piece of black fondant. I've created a line down the centre and then I'm going up into a large V. I'm going to place those on the front. Create hands by using a teardrop piece of modelling paste. You're going to create kind of like a V shape on the side and then create four fingers. And now we get to do the most fun part which is creating the face and the hair. So shape some skin tone modelling paste into a ball shape Then use your finger to create an indentation in the centre. I'm going to use a small circle cutter here to create a little smile. I'm 
and you can use a cocktail stick or a shaper cutter to create a little dimple at the top of his smile. I'm just going to use a ball tool to mark where the nose is going to go. And then we're going to take a small oval piece of skin tone modelling paste for the nose. To create his eyes, I'm using some black sugar pearls that Eddie from Cake Duchess sent me. Thank you, Eddie. You're going to push those in to create eye sockets. And we're going to use some white edible paint to create catch lights. And we're just going to give him some cute little rosy cheeks here with some peach edible dust. And as I said before, the link's in the description below for all of these materials. I'm going to give him some eyebrows now using some brown modelling paste and you're going to roll that into a very skinny little tiny sausage. Just make sure that it's narrow at one side and thicker at the other. Place those on the face. Now this bit's a bit brutal but we're going to cut the top of his head off. <laughs> because he's wearing a hat, I find it's easier if you do trim off the top of the head rather than trying to shape the hat around the head. And as you can see I've trimmed his head at a slight angle. Now we're going to roll out a larger piece of brown modelling paste into an oval shape. And that's going to be his hair. Just trim it if it's a little bit too big. I'm going to use a knife to create some hair like indentations. And we're going to use a little bit of water to stick that on. Let me know guys if you like these longer type videos. Normally I cut my videos away down and I've decided to make this one a little bit longer to focus more on the details. These tutorials are for you so let me know would you prefer Longer, more detailed tutorials or short, quick to the point ones. So I took a ball of modelling paste there and cut it in half to create ears. Use the Dresden tool just to create some ear-like detail. We're going to frame his cute little face with some brown pieces of hair. And you can place his head onto the body now. To create P.T. Barnum's hat, we're going to roll a black piece of modelling paste into a teardrop shape. Then you're going to place the large side onto your work surface. That's going to give you a nice flat top. Then you're going to trim it. Roll out another piece of black modelling paste and use your circle cutter to create a circle. Place that circle on top of your little topper's head. Then you're going to place the other piece on top. Click on that video on your screen now if you want to see more tutorials just like this one. And if you want to grow your cake decorating talent or run a successful cake business from home, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell so you get the rest of these videos. Thanks for watching.